So this is the Georgetown waterfront on the foggy bottom side. There's the Kennedy Center in the corner. Uh, it's a particularly pretty day and there's no one down here. So I thought I'd make a videotape since I wouldn't have to have people in it. Um, there's Roslyn, Virginia. Here's Harbor Place where Nancy Pelosi has her multi-million dollar condo. Bought with her ill-gotten stock gains from insider trading based on her knowledge of what legislation is about to be passed. Although, of course, she has lots of money besides that, so I'm sure she could have bought her nice little condo here without that. But didn't her, did it? Nor did her husband's canning factories in Guam or American Samoa, I've forgotten which, where uh, she cleverly got minimum wage laws passed against American continental canners, but the people who can pineapple or whatever in Guam, the American spa who work for her husband, don't have to be paid minimum wage laws, so obviously it's cheaper to can things there, or at least other things being equal. Anyway, here's what she gets to look at every day, because she's taken enough of other people's money to be able to live on the water. Probably lives on the water in San Francisco, too. I don't know what her property there looks like. I bet it's online, though. I bet if you want to, you can find out. Maybe I'll do that. I can do two videos. One of this and one of her San Francisco home. Anyway, the building she's in is actually that one. And I believe the condos are on the, well, a lot of them are on the front side, the entrance away from the water. So there's a teeny chance she doesn't actually have a water view. One consolation is the co-op she lives in, Washington Harbor, I think that's what it's called, 3030 K Street, has a pool on the roof, and like so many pools on the roof, it started leaking water at some point into the Apartments on the top floor, the condos on the top floor. Maybe hers is one of them. So they had huge special assessments to repair that. I'm sure she could easily afford it. And I don't know that she was actually affected by the swimming pool leaking into the building. Usually this is all full of people eating lunch. But I think the fact that it was in the 40s earlier today, although it's getting kind of warm, kept them away. That is the Francis Scott Key Bridge, one of the very small number of bridges that connect D.C. to Virginia. <clears throat> That's what D.C. would look like if it didn't have a law against having tall buildings, but it does. And so you can't really build very many condos or apartments here, so the rents are sky high because the supply is basically probably cut in third. Those are all 30 and 40 story buildings and up, and DC can't live on over 10 stories. So in DC, you pay millions of dollars to have a 10th floor view, and across the river, you might pay almost the same thing, but you have more square footage and more parking spaces and a 40th floor view. Here's a case in point. This is a kind of new luxury DC condo. And uh, it's the Georgetown Ritz Carlton condos, and you can see that it's not very tall. Like it might only be like seven or eight stories. Not even ten. There's Nancy's building again. Another angle. And I really just wanted to make a video of the water so I could look at it later this winter when it's too cold to come here and look at it. So, um, this tape is going to end.